Amen. And has suffered many things. And has suffered many things. Of many physicians. Uh, from the doctors. Uh -huh. And has spent all that she had. <clears throat> and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. Now, this lady was sick for all of the years. <clears throat> and she went to doctors. And every, you know, when you're sick, you, you tell people, you know, oh, you should try Dr. So-and-so. Oh, he's good. Uh, all you got to do is put his hand on you, and, and he knows exactly what to do. You go to him, and you, you have hopes that I'm going to be better if I go to him. And you go to him, the same thing. Yes. Nothing happened. Mm -hmm. You still got that problem. Yes. But, and she spent all that she had. And see, she got worse. Yes. Going to these doctors. Because, you know, you're sick and you're going to the doctor and pull on you and raise your hand and <laughs> touch you in different places and pull it on you. Yes. It's, it's, it, if you're not sick, you're going to be sick by the time you leave your Amen. So what happened to the lady here? Mm -hmm. And when she had... Oh, and 27. 27. When she had heard of Jesus, came in to the press behind and touched his garment. Now she heard that Jesus was coming along. Mm -hmm. See, you've got to hear before you can get delivered. Uh -huh. And when she heard that Jesus was in her time, coming through, mm -hmm. she said, made up her mind right then. Yes. I'm going to touch the hem of his garment. Yes. I've got to see Jesus. Yes. See, when you got to you got to get mad. You got to get angry about this thing. If you want a deliverance, if you want healing, you got to want this thing bad enough to yes. let nothing get in your way. Amen. She made up her mind. Yes. <clears throat> Amen. That she was going to touch the hem of this garment. Yes. Mm -hmm. When she had heard of Jesus. She came in the press behind and touched his garment. Mm -hmm. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. Amen. She said, if I could touch, just, I don't want to hug it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put my arms around it. Yes. I just want to touch his clothes. Yes. And if I get, get just get one touch, oh, yes. Everything going to be all right. Amen. Amen. It's wonderful. See, you got to have faith when you're looking to Jesus. Amen. And when you want deliverance, you, it just don't come like that. No. You, Jesus has already paid the price yes. for us. Yes. We already healed. Yes. He said, by my stripes, you are healed. Yes. And we have to have faith in Jesus, yes. believing that we are delivered. Yes. But now, the, the, see, you got to see this thing. You got to have some imagination. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If you're going to be delivered, if you want to be set free, you got to have some imagination. Yeah. You got to see yourself here. Yeah. You got to see yourself doing what you're yeah. used to do. Yeah. You got to see yourself walking around. You got yeah. to see yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You can see yourself walking. Mm. You're still hating. You still got pain, but you see yourself. I'm going to live it. Amen. And that the healing got to come. Yes. See, that's when the healing comes. Yes. When you can see it yes. before it happens. Mm -hmm. You know it's going to happen. Yes. And that you look to Jesus. Amen. And she got into the press. And, and it wasn't easy for her to do so. You're already sick and you heard about Jesus coming through time. Mm -hmm. And if he coming through time, that means he ain't by himself. There are people with him, and there was a great multitude of people following him. Yes. Now, in order for her to get to Jesus, she, she, I, you see, many times people want things, but when they get the, the person or see the crowd that they, uh, what they have to do to get there, they change their mind. Yes, they do. So when I wait for some other time, uh, you mm -hmm. go to a doctor and you see five or ten people ahead of you. So you say, oh, no, I, I can't mm -hmm. sit and wait that long. So you turn around. But this lady didn't do that. No. And now she had made up her mind. Yes. See, the mind has to be made up. Yes. If you want to be delivered. 
and you got to get before God. And you got to say, you got to talk to yourself. Amen. Amen. When you talk to yourself, you can get some help. Yes. Amen. Amen. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. Mm -hmm. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Now, see this lady, she had made up her mind, I'm going to see Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end of her, that she wasn't supposed to get in a crowd. She wasn't supposed to be among people with that issue of blood. She could have been stoned to death. Yeah. Yeah. But by the same token, she had made up her mind Amen. that I'm going to touch you. Yeah. See, when you make up your mind that you want to touch it, God will give you the strength to do it with. Yeah. And she had the strength that she went and touched his gum, yeah. crawled through the crowd. She couldn't just go up and hug him and go up to him. But she, they tell me that she got on her knees and crawled until she could get behind him and touch the hem of his gum. And the moment that she touched his garment, she knew that something had happened. And Jesus knew that something had happened also. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because you can't touch Jesus and he don't touch you back. Amen. 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 When you want to heal it and you get before God and say, Lord, I want you to do it for me. Yes. He'll do it. Yes. And you want to know that he's dead. Because yes. yes. he's a healer. He's a deliverer. He'll set you free. I don't care who didn't get healed. I don't care who didn't get delivered. Jesus is still a healer. He's still a deliverer. He'll set you free. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You've got to be able that you had gone through something to know that Jesus is a healer. Amen. I remember I've suffered many times, many years of conditions when God came in. Yes. And at times I wanted to give up. But see, sometimes you, 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 when you're sick like that, you just can't give up. Amen. I don't care what the devil tell you that, oh, no, just, you've been doing, well, how many years you've been doing, you've been sick now, and you still carry on with that? No. Jesus is still a healer. Yes, he and this lady got on her knees and crawled and touched the hem of his garment. Yes. And the moment she touched him, she was healed. Yes. That before a breath stopped, yes. dried up, yes. and she was healed. Yes. Yes. Amen. Of that plague. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, who touched my clothes? And his disciples said, thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou who touched me? Now, th this is Simon Peter. I want to say to him that uh, when Jesus had stopped after the lady touched his garment, he stopped because he felt the virtue left him. So he said, somebody touch you. Yeah. And he was looking around. He knew what the lady was, and he knew that the lady had touched him. Yeah. But the disciples said to him, all of these people around you, and you want to say, who touched you? You see, that was a different type of you that put me into somebody. Yeah. You just pushing somebody. Yeah. But the lady touched him with a faith. Yeah. Her faith went out. Yeah. And he could feel it. The virtue left him. Yeah. And that's how she was healed. Yeah. And she was delivered from that condition. Amen. Jesus is a healer. Yeah. He's a deliverer. Yeah. I thank God because <laughs> we can do anything. Yeah. There was no doctor like him. Yeah. Amen. You go to one doctor and they tell you, no, I don't treat this. I'm going to send you to another doctor. So many times they'll send you two and three places, amen, because of the condition you're in. But once you get to Jesus, once you make up your mind that I'm going to Jesus with my problem, with my sickness, whatever the condition is, he is my answer. We got to know that Jesus is our answer. Amen. Amen. 
And if he's our answer, he'll be there when we call on him. Yeah. He said, before you call me, I'll send an angel on the run. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. He knows about us. Yeah. He said in Matthew, the, the, the 11th chapter, the 23rd verse, he said, you can speak to the mountain. Yeah. Whatever mountain is in your way, you can speak to the mountain. Yeah. If you don't doubt, you can have what you're praying for. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. It's wonderful when you know that the answer is already there. Amen. Mm -hmm. He said it's already done. All we have to do is have faith in God. Believing that he is able to heal you. He is able to deliver you. It's already done. He said yes. all you got to do is have faith in God. Believe. If you know you got a condition, believe God and speak to the condition. Don't speak to God. He didn't just call me up. He said speak to the condition. If you have a condition, you speak to that condition and tell them, leave my body. Jesus has already paid the price. I'm here. And believe it. Know that you are here by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. And he said, you shall be healed. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's his word. And that's what we have to stand up on. Whenever we get in predicaments like this, we got the word of God. We go to the word of God. And, 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 and we read the word of God and see what the word says about my condition. He's a healer. Yes, they brought people to him and he healed all of them. Yes. Even the disciples. They brought people to the disciples and just laid them in the street. Mm -hmm. And as Peter passed by, his shadow uh, yeah. went over them and they were healed. They were delivered. Yeah. When you said that God, God can do anything. Yeah. Anything but fail. Yeah. All God is looking for out of the people of God is faith. Yeah. If we got faith, he said, as big as a mustard seed. Yeah. Amen. You Amen. can speak to the mountain. Yes. And they got to move. Amen. Yes. You don't have to have a, a great big faith. No. Just a little bit of mm -hmm. faith. And if you got faith in God, confidence, knowing that He is able. We come to church, we go, uh, we read the word, we got to have faith in God, believing that God can do it. Yes. No, He don't come just because of you calling Him. See, God has his own set time. Amen. Sometimes we have to go through some things. Yes. Sometimes we have to be long suffering. Yes. Because God knows all about it. Yes. He can yes. step in before the thing even happens to you. Yes. Amen. He don't have to wait two or three months or uh, a year. Amen. God can hear you right then. Yes. But many times we need to go. We have to go through. Amen. It's a testing time. Yes. You got to know that Jesus yes. is a healer. Yes. You got to know that you got to go through something. Yes. It's just not always hallelujah and pat on the back and keep going. Yes. But there is time he said you are going to suffer for my sake. Yes. And whatever we have to suffer, we have to make up our mind. Regardless of what I have to go through, I'm going to hold on to God. Yes. I don't care what it costs me. I'm going to hold on to it. Yes. My pain might be in my body, yes. but I'm going to wait on Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. If you make up your mind that I'm wanting in my life, yes. I'm not going to let him go. No. I might get up feeling bad. Yes. I might go to bed feeling yes. bad. But I'm going to hold on Jesus. Oh, yeah. He didn't do it today. Yeah. I'm going to hold on to it. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to let it go. Yeah. I'm going to pull my toe tight tighter. Yeah. I'm going to hold on Jesus. Yeah. Because if I cannot let him go. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. He's a healer. Yeah. He's a deliverer. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I believe that lady mm -hmm. caught on fire. Once you found out that she was healed, yes. I don't believe that she could hold her peace. No. In fact, when God do something for you, yes. and you've been sick that long, yes. and you suffered that long, yes. you went to doctors all over them, yes. every time someone tell you something, you're running here and you're running there, yes. and then you, 
you can hear that a joy in your soul. Yes. Yes. You can't keep quiet. You got to tell the world yes. that Jesus did it. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. He's the healer. Yes. He's the deliverer. Yes. He'll set you free. Yes. You've got to make up your mind. Yes. Lord, I need a touch. Yes. I know you can do it. Yes. I know you can. Yes. You said if I ask anything, yes. you said you would do it. Yes. I believe you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And he looked round about to see who her who had done this thing. He looked round and about to see who had, had touched him. Uh -huh. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell before him uh -huh. and told him all the truth. Now, you see, he, she was trembling. He showed she was nervous. Yeah. She didn't got healed. She was nervous. She didn't know what to do. Amen. God had delivered her. Yes. And Jesus looked on her, seen her. She came and told her all of her that what she went through, what the doctors did. All my money is spent. My doctors. I went to every doctor. I got no better until I got into the press and touched the hem of your garment. And I'm whole. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Uh huh. Go in peace and be whole of thy flesh. Thy faith, not just getting into the press, mm -hmm. not just knowing that I'm Jesus, yeah. but faith. Yeah. That's the thing that works in our life. Yeah. That's why we have to keep doubt away. Yeah. We can't allow yeah. doubt to get in our life. Yeah. That, 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 that doubt destroys faith. Yeah. So we have to have faith in God. Yeah. We are people of God. We have to have faith regardless of, of what it looks like. We know, let me tell you something, don't doubt God in nothing. No. I don't care what we're up against. Amen. I don't care what the doctor said. Yeah. Don't doubt God. Yeah. Hold on to God yeah. because he's our answer yeah. to every problem. Yeah. He can solve it yeah. anytime he wants to. Yeah. He's a healer. Yes, he is. He's a deliverer. Yes. Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Yes. Go in peace yes. and be whole of thy flesh. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Go no back home. Yes. Rejoice it. Yes. You are delivered now. Yes. Let your neighbors know. Yes. Let your doctor know yes. that you don't need them no more. Yes. That you've been delivered. Yes. From that condition, yeah. tell your neighbor, yeah. I'm all right now. Yeah. I don't have to spend my money. Yes. Jesus doesn't heal me. Yeah. He brought me through, yeah. but I thought I couldn't be delivered. Yeah. He stepped right in, yeah. healed my body. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Sometimes when we're serving God, we get to the place where we think God has forgotten about us. We get to the place where we think that we're not going to be delivered. But that's the time to hold on to God. Yes. You are God's children. Yes. At any time you're a child of God and walking upright before God, yes. God is going to see you through. Yes. He's yes. not going to abandon you. No. Amen. You are his child. Yes. And no daddy is going to walk away from his daughter or his son. He's not going to walk away. He'll be right there to fight the battles in your life. Amen. I don't care how excruciating the pain might be. Every now and then, he comes in and ease the pain. Amen. One day is not every day. So. Amen. You got some good days and you got some bad days. Amen. But we praise God of all of the days. Because he's God. He knows what he's doing. And all we got to do is depend on him. Believe in him. And as we go through, we read the scripture. And we believe God is able to heal. He's able to deliver. He's able to set it free. Thank you, Jesus. There is no one like him. I'm 
that this God can do anything. Yeah. And when you know God can do anything, whatever come your way, all you got to do is just lean on Jesus. Yeah. And say, Lord, I'm depending on you. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes it seems uh, that you can't bear it, but you just lean on Jesus. And tell him, Lord, I'm depending on you. Yeah. And God will ease it up. Amen. He might not complete the whole job, but just keep on holding on. And God will see you through every time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. While he yet spake. While he yet spake. It came from the came from the rulers of the synagogue. How? Which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? Now, here this lady had just got here. Mm -hmm. And Jairus' 12 year old daughter, mm -hmm. here she was sick. And they had sent for the, the Jesus to come and heal the girl. Mm -hmm. But he was, the, the lady with the itch of blood got in the way. And by him taking time with her, the girl died. Yeah. But it doesn't make a difference with Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He knew what was going on. Yeah. And that he didn't have to, he don't have to rush. You can't rush Jesus. No. God, you got to get here right now. Yeah. I hear people talking right now, God. Yeah. But you can't hurry, God. No. You got to wait. Wait, he yeah. moved on his time. Yeah. He doing his way. Yeah. He knew the girl was going to die, but he said, don't worry about it. Yeah. When he heard the news that she was dead, he said, don't worry about it. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Now, he was talking to the, to the, the ruler. Now, the girl is dead, and you tell him, don't worry. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's a big job. Yeah. Amen. When you know the girl is dead, yeah. you got the news. Yeah. But it's all right. I'm going home with you. Yeah. Thank, right. you Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He said, Why trouble the master any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken. Back up there. Look at this. Okay. While he yet spake. While he yet spake. They came from the ruler. They came a ruler. Of the synagogue of the house. The synagogue house. Certain which said. Certain and said. Thy daughter, thy daughter is, dead. is dead. Why trouble Why thou trouble the master? Thou the master in her birth. Mm -hmm. You don't, don't bother him no more. Mm -hmm. She's dead now. Yeah. So you don't have to worry him. Uh -huh. When people die and, and, and you send for the doctor, you, you tell the doctor, you don't have to come now. Amen. She's gone. But when they got to Jesus, it was a different story. Yeah. Amen. It doesn't matter what happened to her. Amen. I'm going home with you. Yeah. I'll fix the problem. Yeah. I'll make everything all right. Yeah. Amen. 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 As soon as Jesus heard, heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, be not afraid, only believe. Only believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he suffered no more to follow him. Save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. Mm -hmm. And he come into the house of the ruler of the synagogue and seeth the turtle and them that wept and wailed greatly. Now, that, that, they paid people during that time mm -hmm. to cry for them yeah. Yeah. and to mourn and to yeah. carry on. Yeah. And then when Jesus got there, he didn't take a whole crowd with him, but he took Peter, James, and John with him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. People with faith. You can't mess around with people that don't have no faith. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You will get nothing done yeah. and you will be set back. Yeah. But you got to deal with people that got faith. Yeah. Yeah. People that believe God. Yeah. People that will say yes to the truth. Yeah. People that are encouraging you to serve God. Yeah. People yeah. that are right there to pat you on the back and tell you, keep on going. Yeah. Hold on to it. Yeah. That's the kind of people you need. You don't yeah. need nobody to tell you, no, it's too late now. Yeah. No, you yeah. done prayed enough. Yeah. No, you keep on praying. Yeah. Believe in God. Yeah. The girl was dead. And they had wailers and cryers there. And they was crying and, and they carried on because the girl was dead. Amen. What happened to Jesus? 
And when he was come in, he said unto them, Why make ye this ado, and wet and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. And now, now he told them that the girl is not dead. Mm -hmm. But she is just sleep. Uh -huh. yeah. And that the, the cry you the moan that she is, they laughed at yeah. you. Yeah. You don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. We know when people die. Mm -hmm. We know that the girl is dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're telling us that she is not dead. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. And they laughed him to scorn. And they laughed him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, he put them all out of the house. He taken the father and, and mother, the father and mother of the damsel, and them that were with him, uh -huh. and entered in where <laughs> the damsel was <laughs> lying. Yeah, he didn't take. He took the mother and father, mm -hmm. Peter, James, and John, mm -hmm. and they went in yes. where the girl was. They uh -huh. had her in the bed that she was dead. Yeah. But look who's coming now. Yeah. The Savior. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Jesus is in the house. Yeah. They were laughing. He talked about she is dead. Yeah. Jesus said, no, she's not dead. Yeah. She's just sleeping. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he took the damsel by the hand. And when he went into the room, she was lying on the bed. Mm -hmm. He took her by the hand. And said unto her. And said unto her. Talitha coming, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. I say unto you, arise. Arise. Amen. Mm -hmm. And straightway the damsel arose and walked. Now, this girl was dead now. Mm -hmm. And you mean to tell me all Jesus had to do was catch her by the hand mm -hmm. and tell her to rise, and she got up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They stuck. Happening to her. Thank you, Jesus. Everything came back. Yes. They tell me, I, I don't know, that the spirit leaves the body. Yes. Amen. And you can you can be up and you can look down and see yourself laying on the table. I don't know. I, I don't know nothing about that. Uh -huh. I, that, uh -huh. that was told to me. But this girl was dead. Yes. Amen. And Jesus was the one to deliver her. Yes. He called her by the hand. And this touched her and told her to arise. Yeah. Amen. Amen. What and, happened? And walked. For she was of the age of 12 years. And they were astonished with a great astonishment. Amen. They were astonished. 12 years old. And she died. But Jesus raised her up. Yeah. And she got up and was walking. Amen. 12 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Heal a woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. Come here with a 12 year old girl and delivered her and brought her back to life. Uh -huh. Gave her to her father, yeah. her mother. That must be some rejoicing yeah. in that house. Yeah. Amen. 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 And he charged them straightway, straightly, that no man should know it, and commanded that something should be given to her to eat. Amen. Amen. Look who Jesus is. Yeah. Give us something. Yeah. She's hoping now. Uh -huh. Man, I guess that mother ran in the kitchen there. Yeah. Hey, Amen. She did mine with, with joy in her heart. Yeah. Praise is on her lips. Yeah. He was ready. She was ready yeah. to pick her up yeah. and to do for her. Hey, Amen. I'm glad that Jesus is a healer. Yeah. He's yeah. still a healer. Yeah. He's still a deliverer. Yeah. All we got to do is have faith in God. Yeah. Uh, Brother Shambach used to always say, have faith in God. Yeah. Amen. And if you got faith in God, you can move mountains. Amen. The devil can't stand in your way if you have faith in God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He'll carry you through. Yeah. Any battles that you fight, you don't have to worry about getting the victory. Jesus will get the victory for you. Yeah. If you hold on to him and yeah. you're true to God, yeah. God will fight your battle. Amen. 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 He'll see you through every time. Yeah. He said, I will never leave you and I'll never forsake you. Yeah. But you're a child of God. I don't care what the devil put on you. I don't care what he'll pick you with. God will bring you through. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not surprised at anything. If you're sick with COVID or any other disease,
be. God is a healer. Amen. He can heal anything. There is nothing that he can heal. He's the God that can do anything but fail. He can't fail. That's why I'm so glad that I got a God that I don't have to worry about. I got a God that if I get sick, I can depend on him. Hold it to God and he'll bring me out. I'm not worried about dying either because I'm here and if I die, I'm ready to go with the Lord. I make my mind up that I'm going to go back with the Lord. I'm making every cross and every T and dotting every I that whatever time that he knocks on my door and tells me to come on home, I want to be able to welcome him in. Thank you, Jesus. Because he's done too much for me. Yes. For me to let the devil cheat me out of my blessing. Amen. He's a healer. He's a liver. Yes. He'll set you free. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Amen. You might be crying today, but there's a lobster tomorrow. Amen. Amen. It don't last all time. No. Amen. All you got to do is have faith to wait on it. Yes. And if you can wait, you can get your deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, He's all right. Yeah. But you've got to have faith in God. Yeah. I don't care what your condition is. He's still a healer. Yeah. He still can bring you through. Yeah. And he'll do it for you. Yeah. Is there one today that need healing that wants to be delivered? I want prayer. Amen. God is still a healer. Yeah. He's a deliverer. And he'll set you free. Yes. I'm so glad. You know, I, 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 I like to tell this story, and you've heard it before. When I was sick, uh, people told me, my doctor, that what I could use and what I could do. And I'm telling you, I had a people put on my lips and they would get me the egg in my life. And they would tell me all kinds of things that I could put on there. The job is called the old one. I tried some of everything they told me to do, and the thing didn't get any better. I couldn't go to school for a whole month. That thing was on my lip. And I'm telling you, people can tell you to do some things, and, and I, did, I did what they said because I wanted to be in it. But it didn't help at all. I'm telling you, all kind of man. And I thank God. Because in his time, he delivered me from that grave. God is God. Yes, is. All by himself. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. The doctor told me when I went in to, uh, to see him, and after I had gotten out of the hospital with, with TB in the stomach, he told me, said, if anything happens to you, if you feel any pain, don't worry about stopping at the reception desk. Come on back to my office. I said, oh, boy. This thing must be serious. But I didn't have to do that. When I got out of the hospital, I went straight to the church. Amen. I went to the church. And they put me on the altar. That's right. Tell that testimony, Bishop. We need to hear it. And God delivered me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Didn't have to go back to the doctor for nothing. Amen. Because they kept on praying. Yeah. Amen. And I thank God. Not only praying, but they was talking to me. Telling me the right thing to do. Yeah. Amen. And I'm glad about it. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Sickness is a bad thing. Yeah. Amen. I thank God because he's here. I yeah. thank God because we got to talk. Yeah. I thank God. That anything that's wrong with us, all we have to do is cry out to him. Amen. He'll be there. Amen. Yes, see us through. Yes, so let me tell you something, saints. We're coming in. We're in a new year. Yes. And that devil looks like he'll get as wild as he can be. Amen. But we got to still know that we still have the same God. Yes. And he will defeat Satan on every side. Amen. We don't have to worry about nothing. No attacks or nothing. 
Just let God have his way. Yes. Talk to the Lord. Yes. Let him have his way. Yes. And he'll bring us to yes, God is a healer. Yes, he is. And he'll carry us to God bless you.